Joining me now are the good folks from the film Mary May. Okay, to my right, Chris LaRiviere, director of Mary May, Jennifer Mulligan, writer of Mary May, and Jeff Paul with Tree Pop Media. How are the group of you doing today? Pretty good. Good. Considering how early it is, pretty good. <laughs> early? My goodness, it's almost 8 a.m. <laughs> I've been working for four hours already, gosh. All right, uh, we've got a lot to chat about. So, Chris, let's start with you. How did the movie uh, Mary May, how was it made? Uh, Mary May was actually made as part of the uh, Digi60 2011 festival. Uh, Jennifer Mulligan pitched a, a story idea, mm -hmm. and then we got together and, and made the movie. Okay, so yeah. what's it all about? Uh, it's about a nun who goes out on Halloween and she discovers uh, something she was missing from her life. So That's all you're going to give us? That's all I'm going to give you. Okay, so for people, you know, that you may pique their interest at this point, when can they see the film? I know it's part of the Ottawa International Film Festival, which is a huge step. Yeah, no, it's screening this Saturday okay. at 12.45 um, at the World Exchange as part of the uh, Digi60 block. Digi60 has its own block at the Ottawa International Film Festival, so it screens a bunch of movies that were made as part of that festival, mm -hmm. including Mary May. Okay. Can you tell me a little bit about Digi60? Yeah, Digi60 is a festival where basically they, um, they give you a catch, mm -hmm. and then you have 60 days to make a movie using that catch. Mm -hmm. And this year the catch was there had to be a passionate kiss as kind of like the centerpiece of the movie. that had to really affect the characters and be a big plot mm -hmm. point. And Mary May actually won Best Kiss. Oh uh, right? yeah, we won the Best Kiss Award. Okay. Who was that kiss between? Uh, Ellen Manchi who plays Mary May, and she's amazing, mm -hmm. and uh, Michelle Adams. So it was a, uh, a lesbian kiss. Ah, uh, do you think that's part of the reason why it won Best Kiss, or was it actually a phenomenal kiss? No, actually a phenomenal kiss, yeah. It was? <laughs> okay. Yeah. Okay, now, I know that a couple of the scenes were shot uh, in Mercury Lounge here in Ottawa, uh, St. Bridges here in the market. So, Jif, tell me a little bit about some of the hidden gems within Ottawa that are great for shooting at. There are a ton of them. Uh, just talk to any of the local filmmakers who make indie movies and you'll find out great places to be. Invest Ottawa is keeping a list. Uh, it's the local film office of indie friendly places mm -hmm. and uh, they help out uh, getting permits and licenses to shoot in these locations. So there's a lot going on in town. Right. Um, I host a festival called Tree Pot um, and I kind of curate short movies for that too. And we just had a screening in the park in the rain uh, on Friday night. <laughs> we had about 80 people out, and we're doing another uh, at the Bytown in October, on October 4th. Oh, great. Okay, so if people head to the uh, Tree Pop Media website, is there more information about the Absolutely. upcoming festival? Yes. Okay, so what's one of the scenes that we're, we're looking at here? Um, this is the trailer, actually, for Mary May. Mm -hmm. So it's just kind of a slight, that was shot at the Mercury Lounge right there. Mm -hmm. And um, yeah, it's, it's a nice, it's a seven and a half minute movie. It's dramatic, it's a, it's a drama, and it, but it, it's a very, it's a nice message. It's very uplifting in the end. Mm -hmm. I tend to make darker movies, but this one kind of goes nice at the end. The, uh, the footage looks incredible, really well shot. Hmm. How did it get into the festival? Ottawa or any of the other ones? Uh, well, where do you want to start? Do you want to well, talk about we, Ottawa yeah, or the New York? Well, we just screened in New York last mm -hmm. weekend at the New York City International Film Festival, and I just submitted it in their short category, and uh, we got accepted officially in competition. The actual award ceremony is tonight in New York, mm -hmm. which I'm not there for, so fingers crossed, maybe we'll pick up an award, but I'm just, I was just happy to get in. Of course. And it's also going to Seattle in October as part of the Seattle Lesbian and Gay Film Festival. Mm -hmm. And as a filmmaker, what does that what does that feel like? That's such an accomplishment. Yeah, it's it's great. It makes you seem a bit more legit to actually have your movie screen outside <laughs> really? of your parents' basement. <laughs> it's uh, you know, it makes you feel really good. But it's good for Ottawa as a scene to have Ottawa movies out of Ottawa playing in different venues um, across the country and even in other countries. It kind of makes it gives the scene in Ottawa a bit more, I don't know, a bit more power. Mm -hmm. Thank you very much, all three of you, for coming in today and for getting up so early to chat with us. <laughs> um, if you're interested, you can catch Mary May at 12.45, right, yeah. this coming Saturday? Yeah. Great, and we'll keep your, our fingers crossed for you. Hopefully, you'll nab an award this evening in, uh, in New York. Maybe.